the difference is between hanging and strangulation usually university question comes what are the differences in hanging and strangulation the manner in hanging usually it is suicidal whereas in strangulation it is usually homicidal then signs of struggle in hanging there will be no signs of struggle as in strangulation there can be signs of struggle about the ligature usually in hanging it will be present with the body and in strangulation it may or may not be present with the body then about the ligature mark description in hanging the ligature mark is incomplete usually above the thyroid cartilage going up back and at the nape of neck there is lift up and this shows the suspension sorry and in strangulation it is usually horizontally placed completely encircling encircling the neck and at the level of thyroid cartilage whereas in hanging it is above the usually above the thyroid cartilage because of the drop because of the fall and the ligature in that is going up and oblique and there is a spade area whereas in strangulation it encircles all around the neck then abrasion in hanging they are rare but they are usually present in strangulation and when we you do the dissection a white glistening band because of the stretch will be seen in strangulation in hanging but a deeply congested is ecchymose structures in the strangulation because of the pressure in hanging that is the pull upward and in strangulation it's direct pressure that will cause a bruising abrasion and ecchymosis neck in hanging is stretched usually but not stretched in strangulation fracture of the hyoid bone rare in hanging but it can be found in strangulation similarly the fracture of the uh, laryngeal cartilage is rare in hanging but it can be seen in strangulation injury to the carotid arteries it only seems where there is drop transverse tear in the intima of carotid vessels it is in the drop and will be seen in hanging and in strangulation it is ecchymosis at the level of carotid direct pressure that is not the transverse tear so regarding the injury to the muscles in hanging it is rare but common in strangulation fracture dislocation of vertebra in judicial hanging but rare in strangulation signs of dribbling of saliva commonly seen in hanging from the angle of the mouth which is dependent there will be dribbling of saliva marks but not seen in strangulation then external signs of asphyxia they are less marked in hanging but more marked in strangulation face is pale in hanging where is congested in strangulation bleeding from the nose and mouth nostrils is common in hanging but rare in strangulation any question thank you